Hello everybody, Joe Marquez here again to showcase another tool or tip for you that you can use in the classroom. Now this one I'm extremely excited about uh, because I've been really pushing for accessibility features in the classroom. And you know, if you use Chromebooks or you use Google, a lot of these accessibility features that you would find, um, let's say in the Edge browser or Microsoft or built into Microsoft products, a lot of those are not available in your Chrome browser. One of the main ones that I absolutely love uh, for student understanding and for students with special needs is the immersive reader option, which Microsoft does a fantastic job of implementing in the majority of its products. And because that is lacking in the Google um, ecosystem, I was wondering to myself, I wonder if there's something close to the immersive reader that we can add into the Google ecosystem. And I found one yesterday. If you go to this website, bit.ly forward slash goo extensions, you'll see all the extensions that I've collected over the years and an explanation of how I use them in the class. But the one extension that I want to showcase for you today is the brand new one that I found yesterday. It's called the immersive reader. But you see, it's not actually made by Microsoft, but it emulates the immersive reader from all the Microsoft Microsoft tools. So even though this is an unofficial build of the Immersive Reader, it still does everything that you would want it to do and that you know and love from the Immersive Reader that you would find in your Microsoft tools. So let me show, show you what you do. So you would come into this bit.ly forward slash goo extensions and I've automatically pushed this to the top so you can see it. You're going to go ahead and click on that and it'll take you to the Chrome Web Store. And you're going to select right here where it'll say add to Chrome. Now, it says remove from Chrome on mine because I've already added this and it's a phenomenal extension. Once you've added this to your Chrome browser, you'll have a brand new icon right up here in the corner, which looks like a book with on the left side, you're gonna have a white piece of paper and on the right side, you're gonna have a dark piece of paper. Now, let me show you how you use this because it's not the same as many other extensions. Um, what you would think you would do is you're on this web page and you think you would click right here where it says immersive reader but that is not what you do this is a highlight and right click extension so what that means is i'm going to go ahead I'm, I'm on the nasa website i'm going to select the text that i would like the immersive reader to read then i'm going to right click on that highlight and i'm going to select help me read this text. This is what the extension does. It adds this extra functionality here for you to, uh, to be able to use the immersive reader. And once you click on it, watch this, it's amazing. I can't believe how easy it is and how close it emulates the actual immersive reader out of the Microsoft products. And you can see up in the upper right corner, you have all the same tools that you would normally have for the Microsoft products. And the immersive reader comes up and it looks just like the Microsoft products. So I'm gonna come down here and hit play and you're gonna see that it's going to read this entire text to me just like the immersive reader from Microsoft. After making progress over the past several weeks digging into the surface of Mars, Insights Mole has backed about halfway out of its hole this past weekend. Fantastic, right? And the same thing with the text preferences. I can come up here and I can make the text larger for students who have uh, vision impairments uh, but still want to read. Um, you can increase the spacing or decrease the spacing depending upon your needs. You can change the fonts, right? So Comic Sans, which is a great font for students with disabilities, you can work in that right there. And then you can definitely change the themes in the background to make it easier to read with students who have different visual impairments. Super amazing, super easy, and super quick. It's pretty amazing. So next I'm going to click on the grammar options. Just like you would be able to use in the Immersive Reader, I could turn on syllables, or um, as Brian Regan would say, syllables, um, right in here that you can take a look at. Pretty neat. Um, I'm going to turn that off. Um, if you want the students to identify nouns, I click on it and the nouns come up right there in the purple. I, I, I can't believe that I have not found this before. Uh, the, the reason that I found this extension was yesterday, uh, my partner in, in innovation, Kyle Anderson and I were recording an episode of Sons of Technology on all the great extensions that we've used. And after this, I was thinking to myself, huh, what other extensions are out there that I haven't looked at? So I went down this rabbit hole, uh, um, you know, extension after extension after extension, and I stumbled across this one. And I can't believe that there there's only like, you know, a certain number of teachers using this right now, but it's pretty amazing. And then um, the last thing is the reading preferences. If you want it to read by line, you just click on by line. 
if you wanted to read by a passage, you can read by passage or the entirety of this passage right here. So it's pretty neat. Um, and then here's another thing that you're gonna really, really love. You can actually translate this. The students can translate this text right here by their language. So if I come over here and I want to read, um, have it read in, um, oh, well, let's go ahead and keep it in, in Spanish, the Mexi uh, Mexican version, and I want it to do it by the document. So I'm gonna go ahead and select document and watch the entire text is now going to be translated into Spanish. And yes, when you click on the play button, mitad de su agujero el fin de semana pasado. Las evaluaciones preliminares apuntan a condiciones inusuales del suelo en el planeta rojo. And it reads it to you in that language. Now, I haven't tried all the languages out, so I'm gonna try it right here. Let me find one that um, uh, will be uh, hopefully available. Let's go down here and look at Chinese. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on Chinese, and I'm gonna select by document, and let's see, and it absolutely does. Now, let me see if the actual audio comes out with this. Uh, pr pretty amazing. So this is great because, you know, it's hard to find screen readers out there that, that last the entire time. There's some out there that lets you do like 500 words and then it asks you to pay. Um, this immersive reader has all the functions and all the features that you would find in your favorite uh, products that Microsoft has in the Edge browser. And now it is here for your usage. And here's the, here's the reason why this is incredibly important. If you have a PC, yes, you can easily just have the students go find an article on the Edge browser and then have them use the immersive reader there. But if you are in the Chrome environment, if you have Chromebooks like 75% uh, of school districts across the United States have, you wouldn't have that ability to grab that, uh, that Edge browser. So being able to add this extension into Chrome and utilize the same functionalities of the immersive reader that you would find elsewhere, so incredibly powerful. So I'm super excited that I'm here to share this with you and I hope that you are able to install this extension and if your administrators have the extensions monitored, please send this to your administrators um, that are that is overlooking your Chrome accounts and say, please add this to our students' devices. It is incredibly important. It is incredibly useful. And especially these great accessibility features for our students with special needs is incredibly important so that they um, have access to everything that they need to have access to and they can, can uh, go through the entire class just as every other student can. So thank you so much for taking um, these past seven and a half minutes with myself. If you have anything at all, please go ahead and contact me on Twitter. Um, I am known as Joe Marquez, the EdTech MacGyver right here on Twitter, and you can find me at Joe Marquez 70 um, And you can also follow us on Sons of Technology. Um, Sons of Technology EDU is our, uh, is our group that we have here, um, and we would love for you to listen to our podcast on all the different podcasters that are out there. So please hit us up, please tell us your favorite extension, and let me know if this is a very useful tool for you, and if it is, please tell me how it is changing the way that your students interact with text um, on the internet on the daily basis. Thank you so much, and I hope you have a wonderful day. And please don't forget, keep on innovating, keep on working, and keep on making the difference in children's lives that I know you do every single day. Thank you so much, and until next time, I'm Joe Marquez, and I appreciate everything you do.